dear South Africans, please stop killing our, our brothers and sisters. We are pleading with you, stop killing them. You can't kill them and feed them to pigs. You can't kill them and burn them. You can't burn a normal be a human being alive. We are pleading with you to stop that. We know that we don't you don't want foreigners in your country. You don't want us in your country. That's okay, that's fine. Yeah. Can you please, if you get them, if you see them that these people they don't have papers, you don't like them, you don't want them in your country, please just take them to the police. Take them to the nearby home office so that they'll deport them home alive and well. There's no need for killings. There's no need for, you know, uh, playing dirty on them. Do you know, guys, that God is watching? What you reap is what you sow. We are one. Yes, of course, you might think because of a border, we are different people. That's okay. But you know that in front of God, we are one, right? And even in Zimbabwe, our country, it did not start like it is right now. We had a very beautiful country. I still remember the time when I went to school. I used to have so many South Africans in my class. So many people from Botswana in my class that I would learn, to, learn with. It's, just, it's not us. It's not the majority, right, guys? It's not their fault. It's not the majority's fault. It's the fault of the government. And as you know, we can't, we are not, we don't have the freedom of speech like you do, guys. We don't have the freedom like you have, guys. You have to understand that. So when they run away to greener pastures, the next door neighbor country is you and Botswana, right? And South Africa, as big as it is, it, it can accommodate everyone. Right now, you are busy uh, banning Zimbabweans. You are busy killing Zimbabweans, guys. The people who are next door to you, anything happens in South Africa, the closest country to run to is Zimbabwe. You are leaving countries that are very far, even if they are in, in Africa. They are very far away from Africa. Zimbabwe is just a bus away it's just a stone throw away you are killing them you are leaving the ones that are coming from very far it's like you only hate zimbabweans we have never had any case whereby it is said one any person from any nationality was killed you are only killing zimbabweans this is not fair guys this is not i come in peace but this is not fair what you are doing guys stop killing our people rather take them send them to home office to to home affairs, send them to the police the police will take proper measures they'll send them uh, home this what you are doing is not right it's not right. Remember, some of these people, they left Zimbabwe to come to South Africa to look for greener pastures. They are working even manual jobs. They are getting paid even 50 rands per month just to try and feed their families. They've got families at home. You kill them there. Do you ever think of what will become of the children? Do you ever think of what will become of the wife? No, guys, it's not fair. Now you have killed a, a mother. A mother who left four children, four young, the, the other one is still breastfeeding. The, the, a woman was fed to the pigs. Come on, guys, we can do better. You can do better. You are not bad people. You are not evil. Yes, we understand the frustration that you are saying we are taking your jobs and stuff like that. But there is a better way of resolving this. Killing is not the solution. Killing is never the answer. Do you know that if you play by the gun, you die with the gun? Let's not apply the wrath of uh, the anger of God upon us. Because the moment we start, you know, uh, taking lives into our own uh, hands, taking lives away from people, we are now playing God. We are making ourselves God. You are now the semi-God, semi-gods. This is not right. Stop killing our brothers and sisters. Send them back home in one piece. Take them. Don't beat them. Send them to the police. Please, it's not their fault. They are just trying to earn a living. They are just trying to survive. Again, I come in peace. What you are doing is not right. It's not right what you are doing. And if you can look at it right now, South Africa is going down the drain. It, that's how Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe started. One minute there's no electricity. The next minute there's electricity. One minute there's no water. The next minute there is water. This is exactly what is happening in South Africa right now. If things can get worse, and you never know what God has, uh, uh, has in plans for Zimbabwe, it might be restored and things go down the drain in South Africa. The next country to run to is Zimbabwe. Because that's exactly how we started in Zimbabwe. You are going down the drain, but you are busy killing. You know, you've got better issues to address. But you are addressing a human being who's earning 50 rand. A fellow person who's, no, who's even a maid who's earning 2,000 rands per month. Do you Are you going to work for 2,000 rand per month? Can you afford to get a job as a maid and work for 2,000 rand a month? Let's face the truth here, guys. Majority of these, these Zimbabweans, they are doing these manual jobs. They are doing these peace jobs. They are not even earning a lot. You see them at the robots. You see them anywhere else where you, you find jobs. They are trying to make a living. They are trying to work for their children. Getting that small amount of money to feed their children. 
Can you seriously tell me, South Africans, that you can wake up in the morning and go to robots to look for a work? Can you work for 70 rand a day? No, you can't. That's the honest truth. But the Zimbabweans can because they know the value of that 70 pounds, 70 rands. They know the value of it. That if I take that 70 rand, I'll send 20, 50 rands at home and I'm left with 20 rands. Guys, let's not do that. Let's have a heart. Stop killing our fellow Zimbabweans and sisters. Take them to the police. Take them to home office. They'll send them home. One peace and one love. We are sisters and brothers. Thank you.